versus when the enlightenment was standing on its final flimsy toe Everybody said just go with what you already know I stepped in and rescued The age of reason was restored Your faculties are divided into two forms One is intuition When my fist immediately strikes your face ah. And understanding afterwards with concepts you place ah. Giving identity both to your face and to my punches This is called judgment Now is judgment day I have awoke from my dogmatic slumber with solution And reverse us into a Copernican revolution A philosophy A reversal of the trend with which all philosophers after me Would be required to contend There are two worlds The real one is called Luminal You can think of it but cannot know it. It's the true form which determines how your consciousness picks up material Which appears but isn't real Is all phenomenal If you wish to find conclusive evidence Stop it You cannot see an object You only see the process of perception Which distorts your Vision, but you used to see what is ethical, you ask me? Duty! Your respect for moral law must replace your inclination. The pursuit of what you want is reprehensible and dangerous. Unless the thing you want is to be moral, then you are permitted to enjoy your moral status. My categorical imperative supplies you with commandments and a purpose. We will all act as arbiters of ethics and its servants. Every action must be eligible as universal law. And together we'll build a kingdom of ends like never before. That was cute, Emmanuel, but you saved the age of reason like a slave master saves his subject from the pains of freedom. For over two centuries you've made the world abhorrent, but today I have these bars more extensive than your forehead. Your premises are faulty. Your salty at existence to the point that you declare reality is mere appearance. You make reason a mere exercise to make some room for face, just like you'd let in Epstein asking if there are children at your place. One mustn't compromise the evil, and the rational is the good, but just a drop of mysticism is like poison in your food. You can do much better can't? Well, on second thought, you can. You're so dishonest, you've automatized the lies you tell yourself. Now let's be objective. I know a thing or two about it. Your existence plus my consciousness equals headache for hours. Your senses don't distort. They have a nature of perception. To deny your observations is worse than a contradiction. You could not be this big a moron while also being its opposite. So try applying Aristotle's logic to your consciousness and see what you've become. The most evil of all philosophers. I know you're German even if you didn't speak like Schwarzenegger. You're being destroyed, boy. Like you destroyed the fate of Europe by exploiting all the errors made by philosophers before you. John couldn't lock an object to its features, giving Hume the skepticism that you needed to unleash epistemic doom and separate reality from reason so deceitfully. You're like Plato on crack. He couldn't sink so low to think that man is deaf for having ears, blind for having eyes, and now men willingly march into gulags peacefully to die. An essence of duty? How original, Manny? Like a heavenly, malevolent tradition of Christianity. Your altruism justifies the sacrifice of men. But now you're burning at the stake, like the mistakes and which your premises depend. Nice speech, Rand. You just a bit long. I will admit you write a decent three-hour monologue. But please stick to writing novels. Your philosophy is crappy. And much like Epstein, you make 14-year-olds happy. I'm regarded as one of the greats. You're a boring phase for adolescents with the moral code of no one making less than Bill Gates. This is ridiculous. We're not in the same boat. I am taught at Yale and Harvard. You're on clearance in Barnes and Noble. If we were in the same boat, you would push me off a ledge to stretch your leg. And you call it the virtue of selfishness. We both never had kids. But the difference between us? I left the legacy. You left quotes and pins and t-shirts. You never had children? Or can't I beg to differ? Your philosophy gave birth to Stalin, Mao, Pol Pot, and Hitler. I'm the spirit granddaughter of the inventor of fire. I put the Every philosopher in history and trial reconciles their dichotomies and prosecutes their crime. Most of their work is defiled by evasions and denial. I can integrate the moral with the practical, emotions with the brain, solve Plato's concept problem in a story about rain. I could explain the relation of causality to consciousness, existence with identity, the body with the mind. You want an A in philosophy? I'll give you three. Aristotle, Aquinas, and I. Ali. Uh, 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 uh. Ali. 
Rockersworld.com. Shirt. Shirt. Vinyl. CD. Buy it now. Rockersworld.com.